Show five was all about those bikes we know we should ride for financial reasons, but don't for performance reasons. Yes, it's those insurance-friendly bikes. Last year's winner was the Suzuki SV650 that won by a considerable margin. But this year's competition was a lot closer, with Suzuki's Bandit in third place, giving our second place bike, Ducati's Monster 620, a good run for its money. In turn, the Monster was hot on the tails of our eventual winner, so have you guessed what our number one was? Well, this year's winner was Suzuki's SV650. Our panel felt that this bike's abundance of practicality and reliability, allied to its low insurance rating, made it the obvious winner. The SV650 also manages to have a touch of performance up its sleeve and ridden hard can scare a few sports bike riders if they aren't paying attention. But when it comes to our viewers' choice, guess what? You agree the SV650 tops your chart as well. Now there are many SV650 owners out there and with the new model now available I'm sure there'll be plenty more. It makes an ideal first bike and is more suited to those of us who aren't as long in the leg department as we might like. The SV650 is a bike that appeals to new riders as the insurance is the second biggest thing to pay out for after the bike itself. The V-twin motor is friendly, a non-daunting one to ride and has enough power to scare the novices and keep the more experienced ones happy if they wish to downsize their bike. Sharp handling and great looks add to the bike's appeal. With the option of the half fairing or the naked look, you can choose which style you want. Fabulous bike. Um, really, really good bike. Uh, great for women as well for men. Plenty of power delivery and some great low-down grunt as well. well the Grip 11 insurance, uh, nice and cheap. Keeps up with most of the inline fours, same as like, like the Phaser 600 and the Bandits and stuff. Um, just a nice punchy V-twin motor again. Good bike, but personally I'd have gone for the Ducati 620. It's the first bike that introduced me to Ducatis and I've got a bit of a soft spot for them really.